What's up you guys, Creations here. I hope you're having a lovely day. I hope you're feeling good. I hope you're looking good. I hope everything is great. Today we're doing some more Amber the Asshole Slight Drama and Halloween Edition, okay? I like to get a little bit of that juiciness in there. Um, If you don't know me, don't know who I am, my name is Creations. I do a lot of Amber the Asshole and read a lot of random subreddits here and there. If you'd like to follow me on any of my social media, it's going to be Creations underscore Reacts on Instagram and JLKV underscore Creations on TikTok, Twitch, and Twitter. I'm going to start trying to post there a little bit more. I usually just post there for like notifications or whatever like you know let people know but i'm gonna start trying to clip these down do little shorts whatever i'm gonna, I'm gonna try try uh try um let's go ahead and get some of these am i the assholes because you just might be all right first one am i the asshole for banning my mother-in-law from a halloween wedding hmm never seen that but uh i'm very interested and i the I clicked on this mainly because of the title. I really didn't look at uh, who posted this or where posted it, whatever. I realized it was from Charlotte Dobre YouTube. And at the beginning of this channel, I, before I even attempted to do the, you know, do Emma the Assholes, my friend pretty much gave me the idea of it and she informed me about Charlotte Dobre. Now, I think prior to her informing this, I might have seen her maybe one other time before a Split, like a few seconds and I didn't really think too much about her so she informed me of her I checked out her YouTube she does you know, like the am by the assholes and then I'll see other clips here and there too as well so I I do like that um I and I was like okay how, how do I do this like it seemed like we did catch on with me doing these and I'm like okay you know what let's can I do anything different I don't know I just was thinking about that I when I saw this I was like oh okay her cool uh, let's get back in the uh, story. It says, am I the asshole, you know, for wedding? Wedding. Let's see. This can also count as wedding drama, llama, and mother-in-law from hell as well, but I can only pick one flair. So for over a year now, my fiance, male 42, and I, female 38, have been planning of our wedding. It's supposed to be the happiest time of our life, right? Well, I guess not. It all started at our engagement party last December. When my mother-in-law, when my future mother-in-law asked when we are planning on getting married. We said Halloween 2024 because the holiday was special to us both. We first met at a school Halloween party when we were high schoolers. We love the spooky season, same bitch. And along with a few other reasons, instantly she tried for us to change the date, saying no one would want to show up if it's creepy we kept telling her that we were not changing it she also kept asking if i was pregnant because i seemed a bit chubby and because got engaged so quickly we used to be high school sweethearts he was the one who got away and then we rec reconnected at a school event our kids were a part of two years ago i am not pregnant and we did put a lot of thought into our engagement engagement lovely Love that she put in thought into it and take a time. As months went by, she kept trying to change everything. She tried to change the flowers, cake, color theme, everything. She wanted us to have a classic wedding cake while we chose a caramel ganache and chocolate cake decorated with strawberries. Ooh, okay. I mean, I really don't care for chocolate, but like, I do like the caramel ganache. I've only heard that once and that was with some, um, youtuber that was making a cake um she tried calling it the baker to change it i wanted red carnations my favorite flower and lilies his favorite she wanted red and yellow roses she had to be in charge of the setting of the seating arrangements menu and who was invited we decided everything along with our kids yet she kept changing everything she even tried to get us to have the wedding at this fancy country club three hours away instead of the church we are already decided on. Oh, okay, and it feels like the mother is uh, starting to, you know, do a lot. Finally, my fiance put his foot down. Good. Nothing for months about her changing anything. This, the call happened. Okay. My apologies, y'all. Something on either something on my nose or something just. Mm. You see, my mother-in-law doesn't really like me. I could tell that from how you wrote everything. Okay, it didn't seem like she was much favorable to you, or if anything, she just didn't really take into account y'all's uh, what y'all wanted in this. So I was leaning towards that. She's always talking about my fiance's ex-wife is so much better than me, and why did he let her leave me? leave him mother-in-law is rich and she's 
always looking down on me. Now my fiance and I get along well with his ex. They got a divorce due to different reasons, one being different life plans. The call in question was from his ex-wife. She was calling about how she's happy we sent her an invite to the wedding and she will try to clear her schedule so she can make it. Problem is, we didn't send her an invite. She lives in Italy right now while we live in the USA. We thought about inviting her, but due to the distance and money issues on both of our ends, we didn't know if it would be okay or not. We explained it to her and she absolutely understood. Bless her heart, she is so sweet. We later found out that mother-in-law made a copy of one of the samples, samples, sample invites we had and sent her the invite without asking any, without asking us. Anyway, his ex-wife is coming after all, three of us had a long talk lovely so it seemed like she can seem like everything is good um but the mother went behind back so that is a little bit of an issue that is a issue that needs to be talked out at this point because uh mm, excuse me who are you inviting to my wedding seemed like a big issue and you did not converse you didn't conversate with me you see what the issue is mm -hmm. well i tried to stay calm i wasn't going to let her ruin my wedding or the planning that was until two weeks ago we were getting a last wedding party dress fitting and suit fitting for the bridesmaids and groomsmen. It was my fiance's, his son, 17, my ex-sister-in-law, my ex-husband's sister, uh, the ex-wife, my mom, grandma, my daughter, 17, my ex-husband, future father-in-law, and mother-in-law. We all were getting along. That was until mother-in-law started making comments about me getting another wedding dress and why couldn't I just use my last one. My last one wasn't actually a wedding dress, but a plain, plain white dress for church. Anyway, mother-in-law started making comments about that, the price of everything, and my daughter, my daughter is trans and still trying to come to terms with changes due to her gender identity, the comments including calling her him the whole time my daughter is used to it but i know it hurts her she was trying on the dress she was going to wear as my maid of honor when my mother-in-law ended up saying you sure you want daughter's dead name to be wearing that what are people going to say then when that gay slur oh is up there with you pack it up mother-in-law you was not out I've dealt with you for a little minute and I've held it all in. But now you're being you're being disrespectful to my daughter. So so now you gotta pack it up. Now, now you gotta go. Now you gotta go. You got to go. Hell, I'm not even that full introversed or whatever. I am part of the uh, you know, the, the rainbow city, but you know Don't be disrespectful. Don't don't be disrespectful. Don't be disrespectful. Using the dead name, that's one thing. Even though I'm pretty sure at this point, if they're trans, you know, went all through all this or whatever, uh, they have a new name. I'm making the assumption. I have no freaking clue. But them notifying that it's a dead name, they have a new name. And then also a slur. I'm making the assumption as to what that slur is, and I think I have an idea. <laughs> that scared the life out of me. I'm sorry, y'all. But that was rude. I was livid, as you should. My daughter started crying. Okay. But tried not to, to so she wouldn't cause a scene. I caused a scene for her, though. I snapped at my mother-in-law for saying that and telling her to leave and how she wasn't invited to the wedding until we both got an apology. And she starts respecting my daughter. Yes, I talked trap. I talked rash in the moment, but my fiance backed me up and agreed with me. Since then, I've get, been getting hate messages, calls, and comments on Facebook from my fiance's side of the family. They can go fuck off. There are block buttons for a reason. Y'all have a nice day. Thinking she's going to show up. Oh, wait, hold up. She lied about a few things to them, including how I'm cheating on my fiance. I've been scared about the wedding, thinking she's going to show up. But my, fa my father-in-law is also on my side and said he'll make sure she doesn't go. A lot of people on my fiance's side of the wedding is calling me the asshole. All right, and I'll go back to the question. Am I the asshole for banning my mother-in-law from my Halloween wedding? 
personally for me, no. I feel like everything was uh, done accordingly and respectfully to the best, you know. She was being disrespectful. But, like, I feel like it was understood as to why she had to snap back and correct her ass. Because, uh, yeah, that's disrespectful. No, you can only take so much for so much for so long until you snap. And depending on the person and how they snap, you never know how, to, how they gonna snap. They could snap and they could fuck you up. Or they could snap and, you know, it could be very respectful and they just ask you to leave or whatever it may be depending on the situation. So you guys to be careful. Um, I feel like she did it in a very respectful way. I feel like everything was done respectfully, you know, as respectful as it could be in that situation. And, you know, no, 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 no cops were called. Some people, there would have been cops. So I feel like she got it done in the nicest of ways. Um, so for me personally, I don't think they're the asshole. I feel like this was handled very, res you know, very, very as respectful as you can do. Um, would I, next, would I be the asshole if I took back the PC I bought my ex after I found out she cheated? Um, hmm. It says asshole. And this feels, hmm, how much was that PC? I mean, obviously it was a gift. So like taking back the gift, yeah, but mm, it's PC. Them PCs, this was 10 months ago. PCs are expensive. I would not be surprised if you, why the person took it back. So I'm, I'm very curious. Very short. We'll see. Last year, I started dating a girl on and on her birthday for more four month mark, I bought her a nice desktop PC for her to use for classes. We both go to the same university and gaming with me. Cool. I told her I never expected her to pay me back for it fast forward a few months to yesterday and I found out that she has been cheating on me with a co-worker since right before Halloween I knew this guy and played games with the two of them and found out that he started sweet talking her online after I would get off the group call I can stomach the idea I can't stomach the idea of her using what I bought for us with him after being betrayed. So I want to take the computer back. Would I be justified for doing this? Um, if you can. I know for some people, they're going to be like, bro, that's an asshole move. Like, you bought that for her for a gift. I'm on the side of like, you bought that with your money. It was for a specific reasoning. And y'all were together. Y'all know more together. And I can understand for certain things, but a PC a little too expensive. I don't know. No, a PC enough to where you could play video games and stuff like that, depending on the games, they're pretty expensive. I possibly would have took it back too. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe. No, I probably just wouldn't have given it. I probably would have just like, you know, this is for uh, both of us, but you can use it for this as well if need be and that's it i wouldn't full on just give it that's the thing i think he did give it as a gift but i'm gonna just be i'm gonna I'm, I'm be honest with y'all at the current moment how i'm feeling i would probably be the asshole I'd, I'd say yeah go ahead take that shit back i know it wasn't cheap i know it wasn't cheap take that shit back either you take it back to get your money back or you you take it back for yourself <laughs> um no it was for reasonings, but it says asshole. I don't think they're the asshole. I'm be honest with y'all. I see why. I see why they would say they're the asshole before even looking at the comments. I I know why. But I'm sorry, y'all. I'm gonna have to be the asshole on this one. I'm gonna have to be the asshole on this one. I would want to take it back. And depending on the situation and everything, I probably might. Okay, might be a dick move. But I'm gonna have to be the asshole on this one. Y'all let me know what y'all think. I'm gonna have to be the asshole on this one. Uh, you're the asshole. If you gave it to her as a gift, unless she gives it back, you cannot legally take it back. It belongs to her as her property. I mean, she's an asshole for the cheating, but you would be an asshole and thief to take back the PC. I can stomach the idea of her using what I bought. Da, 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 da. I mean, yeah, and there's also that. It was a gift, so technically it is considered her property at that point, if I'm not mistaken. I'm sorry, I watch a lot of legal stuff, so that did kind of just, like, get out of my mind at that point. If I can get it back, I would, without it being any legal trouble. But if not, I'm going to just keep it pushing. But I'm sorry. Personally, for me, I don't know about give. I don't even give that much when it comes to gifts already. And it not to be mean, just, you know, money-wise. But, like... 
I just that's a lot of money I wouldn't I I just wouldn't give it to her as a gift that's the thing I would buy it for myself and say you could use this for certain things but it's not a gift you know I'm gonna let that be known because PCs are too expensive nowadays they're, they're too expensive even back then they were too expensive they were at least in the thousands though but like like a thousand like with the parts and that's when I got my stuff so yeah no 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 oh and the thing is what's weird I do uh I do think about sometimes getting my friends gifts like like a PC or something like that for that but it just ain't never followed through for myself like I just because I do want to make sure it's a good one um, next, am I the asshole for not wanting my girlfriend to go to a college Halloween party without me? So it's not the asshole, but we're gonna see. So for starters, me, 19 male, and my girlfriend, 18 female, have been together officially for nine months and dating for 11 months and have gone to plenty of parties together and had a blast together. Today we were walking into a Halloween store and I suggested that we get matching costumes and she said, nah with the look she usually gives when she finds something corny. And I was like, mm. I was like, what do you want to match with me? Or no, what, you what? You don't want to match with me? Nah, nah, I think this year I go to co whatever college town. I'm down, that sounds fun. Implying that I'd be going with her. We've spoke about this before with my sister who's attended a university in a different state. She said the way it works at frat parties is the girls get let in and the guys usually get left at the door. And that I'd have a slim chance of buying my way in with some four, I don't know what 420 is, but and some drinks. But she pointed out that possibility pointed out the possibility of me just getting robbed of some fine herb and still getting kicked out, kicked to the curb. I mean, yeah, it's a possibility. After this discussion with my sister, I actually called my girlfriend later that night because the thought of her being in that kind of environment without me was keeping me up and makes me feel nervous for a lot of things, mainly because of her safety and the possibility of getting groped or touched uncomfortably consensually or a fight breaking out. I don't feel like I need to list all the things that can go wrong at a frat party, but there's some obvious concerns. I agree. I can definitely agree. Especially with, if you're with your significant other and it's possible you're not going to get let in, all this other stuff. I can completely understand that. Yeah. But when I called her and told her how I felt about her going to a frat party without me made me feel, she said that she understood my feelings and told me she didn't even have a desire to go and that the frat houses were nasty and the guys there didn't even look at her anyways and that the girls are so mean that and that she didn't have a good time at the last frat party she went to. I have complete faith that she wouldn't cheat on me and I completely trust her not to do not to do something like that my issue is I can't go with her not because I don't want to or because it's some girls night or because I'm not available I can't go with her just because I wouldn't be allowed into the party which obviously sucks it's Halloween and I'd like to enjoy a night that eventually together a night that ev eventful together I guess if it was a friend's house party and I was busy or didn't have a desire to go, I wouldn't like the idea of her going without me, but I certainly wouldn't ask her not to go. And I'd like her to have fun and be safe. Cool. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of right there in the area, especially if it's like a friend's party. Like if she knows the people there and everything. If it's just a random frat party and like maybe one of the friends invited her, I would be a little concerned a little bit, honestly. Um, where are we? Where's that? Where's that? Fun and be safe and make sure she had money for an Uber if she needed one. It's the fact that it's a frat party and I should add, she said, I want to wear something slutty this year in the Halloween store, which Halloween is notoriously a night where the girls dress slutty. Slutty is sexy and I like showing off my girl, my sexy girl. I don't tell her what to wear or that she can't wear something ever but I don't want her dressing slutty and going to a party with a bunch of 
horny drunk and high men without me why would any boyfriend slash partner want that i feel like i'm not an asshole for saying i don't want her to go without me and i go back to the question of am i the asshole for not wanting my girlfriend to go to a college halloween party without me honestly personally for me i don't think you're the asshole i feel like this is pretty understandable stuff and it seems like you're okay with her if going to a party or whatever even if it's without you you probably wouldn't want her to which is understandable but you're still willing to let her go just because like for example if she had friends there and everything she'll be fine but this seems like yeah it is just like you know she's wanting to you know wear a little slutty outfit whatever you know cute whatever fine you know there's no issue it's just the environment i understand that completely because do you know i've never been to a, a college frat party or nothing like that i've never been interested to nor have I ever been invited. So there's also that. Um, but I just also realized I don't really care for like really big parties and being around a lot of people. That's just me personally. But I wouldn't discourage anybody from wanting to go to those or whatever. Have fun. Do your thing. I think it's just more of a safety thing as well. Because some people are dangerous with alcohol. And I'd be very iffy. <laughs> so I feel like all of this stuff is pretty justifiable. In my personal opinion. Um, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Would you have let her go? or something or whatever it seems like she was okay with not going it seems like so there's that but let me know what y'all think okay so these were not that bad these were these were pretty calm at some point we're gonna probably get some wild ones but at the current moment these have been pretty chill uh let's do a little recap am i the asshole for not wanting my girlfriend to go to a, a college halloween party without me understandable situation and it seemed like she didn't go so it's i feel like we're cool here uh, would I be the asshole if I took back the PC I bought my ex after I found out she cheated? I'm gonna be the asshole in this one. And I'm gonna say... <sighs> Over... Yes, would you be the asshole? Okay, yes. I'm gonna just have to be the asshole with you. But legally, in those areas as well, I just not go, don't go to jail for it. Like, you might just have to take the L on it. If you can get it back, cool. If you can't... You're gonna have to take the L and bite the dust on that one and just eat eat that money that you spent on it. That's just all it's gonna have to be if you can't get it back legally. So there's that. <laughs> and then Emma the asshole for banning my mother-in-law from my from my Halloween wedding. Person for me, no. I feel like you were justified. I feel like she was an asshole. I feel like she belongs to be go to hell. Cause uh, what the fuck? Slurs, all this disrespect, no. To the daughter too? No, kids rocks. You're out. So person for me, I don't think anything was wrong with that. I feel like they're not the asshole. Um, let me know what you guys think about this. I freaking loved it. Um, I'm about to. Uh, do y'all have any? I'll talk later on the end about this. Um, if y'all do stay to the credits, that's usually when I like just talk to you guys, kind of say what's possibly going on currently in my life or whatever. I don't get too necessarily personal, but like where y'all know details if you know me you know me and you probably know who, I, who i'm around but if you don't you know obviously whatever so i don't mind sharing a little bit um so you know that'll be at the end um i'm gonna go ahead and dip out love or less one of you guys deuces pieces reese's pieces bye so y'all this halloween um i think what do we have i think i have two parties there's gonna be two halloween parties or a kickback more so uh, we're still trying to push it out but one of my friends is having a party if i'm not mistaken the other one's having a kickback maybe um and originally we we're gonna do costumes and i i'm in the group chat i just be skimming sometimes though because there is a lot of talking a lot of stuff that be happening and so i'll be having to sometimes go back <laughs> but um I didn't know that we had to wear outfits. I'm glad that my friend told me because I was like, oh shit, I would have just shown up and what I got off of Timo, which what I got off of Timo, I'm at the return. Maybe we'll see. I'm very lazy on returning stuff. Um, and I just, the outfit I was going to get, I think I found one that could possibly fit me, but I'm not sure. And it cost a bit much. And so, yeah. Uh, I just didn't want to speak. That's just all it is, but I'm pretty sure I can make it and, and get it and all that stuff. So there's that. Um, but I'm pretty sure I'll have a good time regardless. I love my friends. I love when we do stuff together. It's really nice. Nice and planned. It's really nice. Um, y'all have any plans for Halloween? Y'all y'all going out to a party? Y'all going to a Halloween party or something? Or doing a Halloween weekend party? Whatever that previous video was. Um, oh, huh. I love Halloween, but mmm. And 
do y'all want to ever see a vlog from me i'm just curious this used to be a vlog channel back when i was starting it up and it definitely went through several changes from then um so would y'all ever want to see a vlog like i don't know any type of vlog maybe a decor vlog or a halloween decoration vlog or something like that i don't know because i am thinking about wanting to do something for my room to make it a little more halloweenish for you guys i really do like the month that and christmas so i'm just curious would y'all ever want to see that um the book thing i do kind of want to start reading online books with you guys or like even ones that y'all request, whether it's a little scandal, that's what it was, a little, little oomph. I'm wanting to get back into it. Just a little bit, just a little bit. What y'all got going on? 